Hello, and today I have with me the amazing Penny Norkit. as she is an EFT speed tapping coach. She quickly and gently guides you to the root of the issues so you can clear the clutter from your brain, reclaim your true brilliant self. Penny loves helping women move through past struggles so they can become the amazing women they're always meant to be. She is the co-author of international best-selling book, 100 Voices of Inspiration, Awakening and Empowerment. Penny has been featured in various media outlets, including the Huffington Post, the Mompreneur, and Simply Women Online Magazine. And she has shared her message on several stages. As the founder of Claiming Your Brilliance, Penny affects change on a daily basis. For more information on how to connect with Penny, um, there's several links that she has, and we'll connect you there. There's a Penny at PennyNorkit.com, and I think I had mentioned I was going to actually discuss this at the end, so people can make sure to write them down. So um, we'll talk a little bit more about that, but thank you, Penny, for coming. I'm excited to have you here today. Thank you so much, Charlene. I am thrilled to be here. And... Um, you know, I wanted to bring you in today because you are uh, have this amazing ability to tap in, into um, what is going on for people. And I have uh, had an experience where I've worked with you and it, is, it was very moving for me. And so I wanted to make sure that other people could also share in that experience. And I think uh, with divorce and you know, in this, um, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to move, move people to the, um, <clears throat> getting into that better, better energy. And so I wanted to, uh, we'll, we'll get into that a little bit more, but I also wanted to hear a little bit more about you. Great. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for the introduction. Um, I love tapping and uh, <laughs> how it all began. Um, it was, it's quite interesting how life happens for you. Mm -hmm. I was working um, in a woman's basement in the corner, uh, facing a wall, really hiding behind the computer and the desk. And I was helping clients that had been in car accidents. And that was because my sister died when I was 18 in a car accident, and I thought that was my purpose. But I was miserable and sad and living in my grief and not even realizing it. And the fortunate thing was, um, as events happened, I, I did move on to a different job, and I got let go. And it was the best thing ever uh, because uh, I, the reason I was in that job was that I found the solution for my son's health problem. And the, just the chain of events, we found the solution. The, the, we went to the doctor that's, that cured him about two weeks before I got let go. And, and when I got let go, I had the severance to pay for the treatment that he needed. It just flowed so beautifully. And there, here I was given the opportunity to reinvent myself. I started looking for work and every job I wanted to get and the ones I was offered, I really didn't want. And then I was even offered a partnership in a company, which at one point would have been a dream for me. And it was, no, nope, I don't want it. And it was finally the first time I really stood up for, listened to my heart and, and believed that there was something more for me. And then it just rolled into uh, discovering coaching. I'd never even heard about coaching before. And primary coaching, what is that? I had no idea. And the my own personal development, as it went through, I did the, the training and, uh, and it just starts to flow. And then I discovered tapping. I, and, yeah, I love that story because I think that – you know, when we compare it to divorce, it is like all of a sudden we're coming into uh, a period where we do tend to look inward to see what's going on. And I think it's like, you know, at a time of transition. So I, I love that, you know, the, your, your story there, how it connects. Thank you. It's so true. It, it, it doesn't matter if it was um, a marriage that, that, that ended a job that ended, someone died. Uh, there's always grief mm -hmm. in that emotion. Right. And um, 
I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to say fear, uh, a little bit of fear of the unknown also, oh, yeah. also pops up. Oh, for sure. Definitely. And to even, um, I didn't even know, someone asked me, what, what's your dreams? And I was like, my dreams? What do you mean? I, well, as soon as I became a mom, I was a mom and I put me on hold mm -hmm. and I just concentrated on my children and my marriage and put me last, which was not the best thing to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it really wasn't. And um, so there's, but the best thing is we can move through these when it, we finally, when we're finally ready to to move past them there are some simple techniques that you can do to move past the emotions yeah okay and and so you let's um how did you get into how did you find tapping to work through things i did was it for yourself and then you wanted to help other people like i know you are such a giver so <laughs> i wanted to hear a little bit more about that how, to, how i was introduced to tapping was I really had, I had no idea all of this personal empowerment, this personal development. I really didn't know anything about it. And I signed up for a summit just like this. And I listened to every single interview. Mm -hmm. And there was one on tapping and it was, that looks weird, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm going to try it. And um, I, I tried it and I felt calmer, more relaxed. And when you're feeling calmer, more relaxed, you you can think clearer. Mm -hmm. And when you can think clearer, everything just falls into place and you can move forward. So it, it really helped me get unstuck. And uh, I was fortunate to um, be introduced to it, found a coach that uh, had been trained in it and, and really the rest is history. I, I had a coach and then I was like, I don't, this is changing my life so much. I need to help other people with it. And tapping is related to acupuncture, which was the solution, one of the solutions for my son. He had migraines, daily migraines. He couldn't get out of bed. He had to drop out of high school. His life was, and mine was really on hold. Wow. And the one th solution that was helping him was when we find ch found Chinese medicine and acupuncture. Yeah. But with the acupuncture, you have all the needles, and so his headache would go down like this, and but then it would be start to go back up, and we'd like get oh, another appointment. So we were going two, three times a week, maybe four if it's really bad, uh, bad week. Mm -hmm. And tapping is acupuncture without the needles, mm -hmm. so you can do it yourself anywhere, anytime on specific issues, on specific emotion, specific pain. And um, it's like, had I known back then, uh, maybe you wouldn't have had to have five years of pain. Maybe it, you know, we could have got rid of it a lot, lot sooner. But that was his journey. Uh, and I, I, I had to get rid of the guilt, the mom guilt. Uh, and that was one of the things I released through tapping was my mom guilt of having an ill son and not being able to help him. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, and we're going to be doing some tapping today. I think you had said on um, some grief and I'm not sure what, what else, but I just, I'm excited because this is, um, you know, I wanted to, I think you're going to do a little bit longer version, but you've also, I wanted you to talk about, you were also doing speed tapping. So <laughs> this is like you said, something that people can use, like, you know, at any time, anywhere, you, you just like, you know, you work with them one-on-one, -on -one, I mean, and you know, you can get them going, but it's also like, you know what, this is something in, if you're in that, in a situation where you're recognizing, you know, is that, is that when you use it? Like what's, Oh, I use it. I tap every single day. Yeah. I don't even get out of bed without tapping. Mm -hmm. And the other day I woke up and I was like, Oh my gosh, I am tapping in my sleep. At <laughs> <laughs> I'm tapping my sleep. This is how much I, I have uh, embraced tapping. But really, um, there is, uh, I do a simple little tapping technique first thing in the morning just to get my energy up to uh, start the day. Uh, do you want me to share quickly with you that one? Yeah, absolutely. Julie, yeah. This, this, is, this helps 
yeah. can help anyone. And all it is is five points. So you have to remember a lot, and there is no right or wrong way of tapping. Uh, we're just using our body. Okay. We're using our body in our hands, and the first one is the collarbone point, and it's you know your little the bones. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you just tap lightly, and you don't have to say anything, think anything. But what this is is from in the morning when you're waking up. Uh, you've been horizontal for a long time, and it's to get you vertical. Uh, it's just rising your energy, bringing your energy up. And mm -hmm. you can do this at 3 o'clock when you feel like a coffee or a tea, when you need a little pick-me-up. Mm -hmm. You just tap on your collarbone. Oh. And it's that simple. Wow. Just for a minute, and this will help. It helps you relax you, center you, um, I guess I'm biased. I love tapping. So <laughs> I do this. And then the next one is the under the arms. And what it is, is one arm, one hand from your armpit. So it's right along the bra line. Okay. And here we just tap. And this is really, um, it's fun because it, it's relating. It's, we're working on the meridians. And this is for your digestive system. So before you put any food in your body, Let's get it walk, rock and rolling again. So just for a minute, and um, I don't have a timer. I, you know, I'm not. It doesn't matter. Just a minute. And usually, oh, oh, my arms are feeling okay. Minutes. That's good. We're <laughs> good on that one. And the next one is the thymus gland, and that is when you go ah, uh, see that right there. And you can either uh, yeah, like ah, uh, that's the spot. So right there and you can gently rub it or tap this one's very sensitive but this is for your immune system so get your immune system going oh wow i've been doing this every day since september and my whole family had the flu over the christmas break i didn't get it <laughs> i didn't get it my husband <laughs> My husband goes like, we're in the same bed, and you, like kind of annoyed, like what? Yeah. Like, you didn't get it. Everybody else is sick as a dog, and I'm like, I didn't get it. I've got I, my immune system is really great. Yeah, it is great. So this is if you're going through a divorce and there's so much um, turmoil in your life, get your immune system up, take care of yourself. So just tap here. This is because um, yeah, there's a lot going on and. Mm. Um, I am, I was like, there is a tapping uh, while we're here. This is not part of the morning routine, but on relationships and to just, it's just, so I'm a speed tapper. So let's just go straight to the point that you need. And this is based on, uh, uh, if you're struggling with relationships and it is just, you tap around your thymus gland. Okay. And this is to tap around your thymus gland. So if you're feeling upset about um, having a divorce, being, you know, you're, if you're still stuck in that, uh, you haven't realized the diamonds, you haven't realized how it, the, the divorce was a great thing. It truly was, uh, if it, the marriage wasn't working, don't stay in it. Like, yeah. I, I've been married a long time, but I don't, I don't recommend people being married to the wrong person. Mm -hmm. and, um, so uh, just, you can tap around your thymus and that uh, to make you feel uh, it, that's for relationships it just happens there but now we're going to go back to my fourth thing so it was collarbone under the arm the thymus gland and the next one is the chest point and this is right where your ribs are right ribs and right here right it's also two down from and i laugh because where your nipple's supposed to be <laughs> <laughs> And that's what they, some people call it the nipple point, others call it the chest point. Right, um, right. <laughs> it's all different things, but I, uh, for me, is, and this one, this point, uh, and you do it just for a minute, and this one is also for fear, the emotion of fear. So if you're feeling fearful about stepping out of the house in are people going to judge you or you're doing something for the first time you're going on your first date again in your gut like oh my gosh I'm dating again it's been so many years and now like 
um, the things that go through your head. So yeah. just before, if you want to just tap there uh, to calm yourself down, just tap that chest point. Okay? And that's, uh, and so that, so we've done, so again for a minute, and um, there, if one of these points um, felt really good to you, uh, you can stay longer on there. And uh, I've been going through a lot of fear because I've been stepping out of my comfort zone so many times. So this is actually one of my favorite tapping spots. Yeah, uh, it feels good. <laughs> it does, it feels good. So I happen to tap a lot here and it's like, oh, I'm going to be approaching someone to do an interview with me and okay, let's tap here. Let's get over that fear and I just you just even think why am I fear why, why am I afraid and just say those words and tap on it so we've done those four and now the next one is so those were all moving the energy up from the ground so you're bringing it up and now we just want to complete the circle and it's the under the eyes and it's right where the bone is mm -hmm. so yes and again, that's very sensitive, but this is going to ground you. It's going to complete the circle of the energy. So now we're bringing, we brought four up, we're gonna bring one down, so we, um, and just a minute here. And just tap for a minute. And again, breathe in, and breathe out. And basically, it clears your brain from it centers you, it calms you down, clears your brain from all the clutter, all the negative talk that's going on. Uh, I'm not good enough, you know, <laughs> a failure. Uh, it's whatever going through your head. Just let it out. Just tap there. So that's the morning routine, and that's it. Five minutes in the morning. And how do you feel, Charlie? It, it feels good. Like, I mean, everything, it's just like it kind of, it's a calming it's a like, you know, I, I can have that, oh, like, a, it's like a breath of fresh air. <laughs> That's exactly and then if you have, Exactly. And if you have water at this point, take a sip of water. I have tea, non-caffeine. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, because basically we're releasing things and we just want to bring pure water into our body to fill our body up with water. Our body is mainly made up of water anyway, so we're just going to be filling it up with that. So that's... Uh, so after the tapping, always have water with you. And if you release something, Epsom salt bath, um, just to uh, help continue with the release and make you feel better. Yeah, because often I think emotions do come up. Um, mm. is, do you find that? Can you speak a little bit about that? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's as you're tapping the... Um, the thoughts that are going through your mind and what comes up now and what's the what's the feeling about it do you want me to just switch on to do a quick little tapping on um about divorce yeah yeah that would be great i think that would anyone listening in would love that absolutely okay so the fir very first thing is feet on the ground get centered um, Get grounded, feet on the ground, and take a real deep breath in and a deep breath out. And then and you just scan your body, and it's really where do you feel like what do you feel pain in your body? Do you feel something going on? Is it in your head? Is it in your heart? Is it in your stomach is it in your legs like where when you did this scan can i use you as an example yeah for sure uh what came up where, where did you feel some feel anything i definitely <clears throat> like underneath where you said i think where the fear is going on i can feel like it feels almost tender like so okay. it, yeah it's okay, so a tenderness okay and you can also ask yourself, what does this relate to? And whatever pops in your brain, because really 90% is conscious brain and then, uh, sorry, 10% is conscious and 90% is unconscious. So we don't even know what's causing the anxiety in us. Um, logically, we don't, but unconsciously, our body is always speaking to us. So there's some fear and it's like, uh, I'm pro I can speak. I'm probably, <clears throat> I have uh, probably fears right now, like anyone else does. I'll be honest. Like, a fear is about, you know, um, how I am, how I'm growing 
myself and mm. you know what's what's going on like what i have to do and i'm being so much more conscious and i'm making a lot of changes in my life and even for myself I, it's kind of going up to my next level and there's fear there sorry that that but yes <laughs> because it's normal it's absolutely normal and we can do some tapping on that to release what's going on Let, let's release it and you're a perfect example for people that are watching that they've made the decision they're divorced and they're ready for their new life they're ready to live again they're ready to rediscover their true self the diamonds they went through this trauma really yeah. and we're coming out on the other side. Yeah. And um, so this is, there's fear. There is fear about the unknown. Mm -hmm. Fear about the unknown. So yeah. we are just going to start, this is um, for tapping, for those of you that don't know, it's, we're just going to, this is the beginning, it's called a setup statement. Okay. And I'm really gonna keep it simple uh, for, um, for this exercise, okay. uh, but, you know, if we were doing it privately, uh, we would get really more deep. We start general and then we get in more specific. And the more specific we are, the bigger the results. But let's get just awesome. get some fear right now of fear of the unknown. So even though, even though I'm afraid I'm of afraid the future, of the future, I'm afraid what's coming next. I'm afraid what's coming next. I'm afraid I can't handle it. I'm afraid I can't handle it. I choose. I choose. To profoundly love, honor, and accept myself. To profoundly love, honor, and accept myself. Even though. Even though. Sorry, I forgot to ask you the rating. What's your rating? One to 10, 10 being the highest. And I'm uh, just rating my fear. Yeah. I would say seven, eight. Yeah, okay. Even though I have this fear of eight in the pit of my stomach. Even though I have this rating of eight in the pit of my stomach. I choose. I choose. To profoundly love and accept myself. To profoundly love and accept myself. Even though the fear is real. The fear is real. And I feel it as in the pit of my stomach. And I feel it in the pit of my stomach. I choose to profoundly love, honor, and respect myself. I choose to love, honor, and respect myself. And now we're going to move on to the tapping points. The first one is eyebrow point. Okay. And it's right where the little bone is. Okay. And uh, this, this question's come up two fingers, like there's really absolutely no right or wrong way to tap. Okay. And, but the more fingers you use, the more, the better it is, the more impact. So okay. I'm like a full hand on tapping. <laughs> yeah. um, and it just, gentle. it doesn't have to be, you don't have to thump. It's just a gentle. And basically what we're going to do now is just go through the negative, we have, we've acknowledged the issue with the setup statement and now we're just going to be tapping on the negative thoughts that are in there. Those thoughts are there to protect us. Uh, our brain is trying to keep us safe, keep us small. Um, not, our brain doesn't know what's happening on the other side and we just have to move through it. So just, we accept it. So we're just going to accept the issues that are coming up and so, I'm just going to say a few things and repeat after me. Okay. I'm feeling fearful. I'm fearing, I'm feeling fearful. Side of the eye. This fear inside me. This fear inside me. It makes me afraid. It makes me afraid. Under the nose. I'm feeling really fearful. I'm feeling really fearful. I don't know what the future holds. I don't know what the future holds. I don't know how I'm gonna survive. I don't know how I'm gonna survive. Under the arms. I don't know if I can handle it all. I don't know if I can handle it all. It's really scary. It's really scary. 
chest point. This fear inside me. This fear inside me. It's really scary. It's really scary. The future, I have no idea. The future, I have no idea. I know what I want. I know what I want. But I'm afraid to move forward. But I'm afraid to move forward. I'm afraid of the unknown. I'm afraid of the unknown. I'm afraid of the future. I'm afraid of the future. What if it happens again? What if it happens again? What if I can't handle it? What if I can't handle it? And it's really whatever comes up. I'm just making this up. It's just, I'm trying to yeah. tap into what, 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 if someone is immediately wanting to start dating again and it's like, what if he doesn't like me? What if, what if they don't like me? What if, what if this one's the wrong one? What if, what if they don't like me? What if this one's the wrong one? Yeah, it's like, what if, what if I make a mistake again? What if I make a mistake again? Top of the head. What if, yeah, what if I make another mistake? What if I make another mistake? It really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Because I grow through my failures. Because I grow through my failures. Failure is a good thing. Failure is a good thing. I am very strong. I am very strong. And I can handle this. And I can handle this. I'm really, really strong. I'm really, really strong. And the f I am looking forward to my future. And I'm looking forward to my future. And just take a nice deep breath in. And a deep breath out. And rate your fear on a scale of one to 10. How are you feeling? I am going to be completely, utterly honest that that tension and kind of like the soreness that I had under there is not there. Like it's like a little minute now compared to how tender <laughs> and sore it was when we started. That is like, isn't it amazing? It is actually because when we were, when we were tap, it was like when we went down there again for that last yeah. session, I was like, it's not as tender. It's not even close to being as tender as it was. So it's like, yeah. Yeah. Because really you release. So scale of one to 10 is no longer an eight down to one, zero, two. Yeah, like I'm still like <laughs> pressing on it just to like, I'm like, yeah, it's not even close to an eight now. It is like, yeah, a, a, like a two. There we go. Awesome. So how had, had we been doing it privately and it had only gone down to like a seven or a six, even that is good. Like you're going down, but you are so receptive. We've already tapped before. So you understand the tapping and even if you don't even have to know what tapping is. For the benefits to work for you and if anyone is watching this and does it themselves um i do want to uh, like this is a warning thing if tears come up i don't want i i really don't want you to be in your tears i do it gently and so the minute the tears start coming when if you were tapping and the tears came i would ask you to do it's called the trauma and it is just tapping right here for where your wrist is, mm -hmm. right there for about seven. And it doesn't matter what wrist it is, it truly doesn't matter okay. uh, if one gets sore. But as you're still, if you're in those emotions of sadness, mm -hmm. um, just under the nose, breathe in and out and just tap under the nose and calm yourself. Under the nose, breathe in and out you're going to be okay. And basically it's just happened. So that, that was just a little side note. If anyone was following along, uh, I know sometimes uh, I know you were fine, but if someone is following that it might've brought up a different emotion for them. So just let, uh, you know, just go to there and, and tears are really great. It's, it's great for release. Mm -hmm. uh, but in tapping, I want, I don't want you stuck in that emotion. I want you to move right through it. So we just get rid of it. Yeah get rid of that and uh, and then I always end the sessions on positive things um, so are you ready for that one so that yeah yes 
Definitely. Because the tenderness is really, it's gone down so much. So now we're just going to put in some positive thoughts into your brain because we've, we've released some negative ones. Yeah. The future is on. You can handle this. Like you truly can handle this. So this is what we're just going to be tapping in. Um, I can handle this. I can handle this. The right, the right person is waiting for me right now. The right person is waiting for me right now. It's okay to put myself out there. It's okay to put myself out there. It's okay. I, oh my gosh, I'm okay. I'm okay. I am okay. I am okay. I'm actually very, very amazing. I am actually very amazing. <laughs> I am amazing. I am amazing. Under the arms. Oh, it's like, I know that like it could be a guy, a girl. The person for me is waiting for me right now. The person for me is waiting for me right now. And just needs to find me. And just needs to find me. So I'm going to put myself out there. So I'm going to put myself out there. I'm ready. I'm ready. And the uh, chest point. I am ready for my, I'm ready to discover the, the diamonds. I'm ready to discover the diamonds. I'm ready to claim the real me. I'm ready to claim the real me. I'm ready to shine. I'm ready to shine. I am amazing. I am amazing. Oh, I am amazing. I am amazing. And you take a nice deep breath in and a deep breath out. And then you take a sip of water. Oh. So how are you feeling now? Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> me too uh, this is the beauty so of, great this is the beauty of, of tapping it is release that fear a little tenderness in your and let, let it go uh, this works for grief um, and I so that was more of a longer one but again we went right to the the issue and let it go and something else will pop up and we can tap on that one again but you have the tools now it truly is as simple as that and if someone is in grief over their relationship they haven't moved they haven't seen the amazingness of the divorce because divorce is a new beginning it truly is the end you, we have to let go of what is not working for us in order to receive the amazing things that in our future that are just waiting for us to appear, to be ready to accept them. And um, so it's like, let go of the grief. So if you are still in sadness, grieving the future that you thought you were gonna have with this most amazing partner and it didn't work out, that's okay. Let's just tap on that and we go from the shoulders and this one is called Half Moon and it goes from the shoulders Right through, we meet in the breast and underneath again that that same uh, right point, and we just do half moon. So, um, it really we have all kinds of emotions. Everybody has every single emotion, but there's a way to release it, and we don't have to get stuck in it, and we can move through it really easily. Wow. And that's where my speed tapping comes in because, like, okay, just go here, and <laughs> don't you feel great right yes. now? Yes. Yes. No. Yeah, I, you know what, you are such an inspiration, honestly. I just, I, yeah, I adore your, you and your work and, and your energy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so I want to make sure that everyone knows how to contact you. Can you tell everyone, uh, you know? Yes, so I run a, a private Facebook group called Claiming Your Brilliance, and really um, it's so thrilling to see people uh, – move through emotions and get through them and claim their brilliance, claim the real you, claim who you are and um, be proud of, of your mistakes because that just made you stronger. And if you can just flip the switch over, it's divorce isn't a negative thing, it's actually an amazing thing. You are strong enough. You were strong enough to get out of a situation that was not good for you. So this is where people in my group, we I do tapping and I also help with, um, getting visible, getting, getting yourself out there and um, letting the world know who you are. That's my, my fun thing. So uh, I have a business page. Um, it's all under my name, Penny Norkit, and, but the group is Claiming Your Brilliance. 
Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Penny. Thank you for your time and thank you for tapping with us today. And I honestly, I believe that this is going to help a lot of viewers. So, and if anyone wants um, some more information, be sure to reach out to Penny. I love tapping. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you.